On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make beautiful mock-ups for your projects in your portfolio, and it's way, way easier than you think. Let's rock and roll. Hey designer friends, what is up? So today I have a rant with you together with like a technical, uh, practical tutorial. And the rent is this, there's nothing that pisses me off more than going into a designer's portfolio and see that they just paste a screenshot of their work. This does such a huge disservice to them because the way that you present your work makes, you know, makes the whole difference between whether I think this is amazing work or whether, you know, I, I don't, I don't care about this and I just scroll on. The presentation, the book cover matters, right? What's in the book matters, but the book covers matter. And so the way that you present your work on your portfolio is super important and never ever just paste a screenshot of your work. So I wanna show you a few practical things that you can do to make the presentation of your project in your portfolio better. And there's basically two things that I want you to remember. I'm just gonna show some practical tips, but the overall thing that I want you to understand is there's two important things when you are creating mock-ups or presenting your work, and that is number one, context. Like this thing that I'm looking at right now, this image, where does it live, right? If it's a website, does it exist in like a computer or a browser, if it's a mobile app, does it live live on a on a you know? Give me a context of what this screenshot is. I don't know that just because it's a rectangular, it's a mobile app. Give me the context. And then the second thing is depth, right? We love when we look at physical things or at photography. The world is 3D, right? There's shadows to things, there's lights, there's perspective, nothing is really flat. And so when you paste an image that's super, super flat on the screen, it just looks unnatural, right? It doesn't look like the real world. So let's go here and I'll show you like a practical tips. So here's, let's say I've done this project and this is a screenshot from a video that we did last week about design mistake, which if you haven't seen, you do this. And by the way, are you subscribed to Flux if you wanna become a better designer and make a living as a designer? So make sure you're subscribed and liking this video. So here's like two design examples. If I'm just pasting them on my website, it looks, it looks really, really crappy. So the number one tip is, as I've said, right? If you wanna give context to things, so if this is a website, it lives within a computer, and if this is an app, it lives within you know, uh, a mobile phone, for example. So the most, most simple thing to do is go on Google and write something like MacBook PNG, and then you'll get just like a bunch of devices, right? And so if you click this, you see that it's a PNG because it has this checkered background. I'm just gonna copy it, and I'm going to paste it, uh, I'll start with Figma, but then I'll show you why I'd like to do this in Photoshop. Now, just by doing this and giving this thing a very, very simple context, bam, it already looks so much better because now I understand, oh, this is a website, right? This is something digital that I see on my computer. It's not like a poster, right? Because it could have been a poster. It could have been something else. Now I understand, oh, this is a website that I'm looking at. Now, why am I going to show you this in Photoshop as well? Because as I said, um, things are, things are, need some kind of a depth, right? So I'm gonna copy this thing and I'm just gonna go here in Photoshop and I'm gonna paste this. Let's say this is my mock-up and I have some space here. And let's say the background for this website is white, right? So I have this, again, it's a little bit flat, although we have this image. So there's two things I can do here. Number one is add a little bit of shadow, right? Because things in real life have shadow. Very simple way, I'm gonna uh, select elliptical marquee and just gonna do kind of like a little, little circle and I'm going to fill this up with black. Um, so now you can basically see I have this rectangular. It looks like a shadow. I'm gonna put this below here. Uh, I'm going to reduce the opacity just a little bit, right? So it's not fully black. And I might also go here into like filter blur, like Gaussian blur, which is the classic little bit of blur. And now you see this looks much more, more real, right? Because it's here, it's got a little tiny bit of shadow. So that's one way to add a little bit more depth and realism into it. One more trick that I like is I can go ahead and uh, you know merge these two things. Actually, let's do these two things and duplicate them and then flip them around. So basically flip vertical. So now I have this website in a laptop and a, uh, 
a vertical flip of it. Why is it cool? Because I can put it right here at below it, and then I can mask it, right? So I'm gonna add a mask and do a little bit of a tiny gradient mask here. Uh, let's see that we have black and white gradient. And just gonna mask it a little bit like this and reduce the opacity. Now this creates the, I'm gonna reduce the opacity a little bit. This reduce, this creates the illusion that this MacBook is now sitting on this kind of like a plexiglass or this kind of like where you do product shots or something like this. And by the way, sometimes I might do the shadow and reflection at the same time. Now look, this looks wow. Considering if before we just had this image, bam. Now this looks so much more impressive and gives the work the actual presentation of where it can be. Um, let's copy this and bring this back into our website. And now this is just one example, right? There are another, there, there's a gazillion other very, very cheap uh, and even free ways of doing this, right? There's this website called Startup Stock Photos. You can find here photos of devices and then you can go ahead and plant maybe your website within an actual computer. Or of course you can go into Un Unsplash or something, uh, cop, um, right, laptop, and then you'll have some more laptops and again, very, very easy, right? I can take this thing, I can copy that into Photoshop. Um, if it's a free image, I can take the design, only the design itself and put it here. And then I'm gonna just give it a little bit of perspective, right? So I'm gonna use free transform, which is basically means um, I'm gonna be able to grab these corners uh, by hitting the command while I'm dragging it in free transform mode. And then I can just put it here in some kind of perspective and it looks like it's on the screen, right? I can do this better. I can even go ahead and add some kind of a shadow, tiny bit of shadow so that it looks like the, the lighting match, the lighting in the actual image. And now we have this very nice mock-up, right? So let's see how that looks within the website. So of course you can decide on what is the art direction that you want for your website, whether you want it to be flat or you want this to be kind of like a full on image, you can choose, but whatever you do, just don't just paste up the photo. And of course the same thing we can do for mobile design, uh, we can go ahead and based this in a device, but there are gazillion other ways, right? Actually, if you just go on Google, if you want a little bit of inspiration and you click, click uh, you search for something like mock-up uh, website, you'll see so many things, if you go to images, uh, so many ideas that most of them already include the concepts that basically I covered, right? There is context, right? It's on a desk, there are a little bit of plants and there's depth, there's something before, there's something afterwards, there's shadows, all of these things, even this one, which is very, very simple, it doesn't give context, but at least it gives a little bit of depth. And all they did was to give a little bit of perspective, a little bit of shadow, and things look like, um, you know, they going behind, but by the way, putting things behind and afterwards to give depth, I love this, you know, I love this thing. Uh, if we even go here and we do a little bit of drop shadow. And if I had another screen here of the app, right? I don't have right, right now, but uh, if we had another screen here, this already looks better, right? Because there is some kind of composition and there is depth behind them. So everything here is much, much, is not as boring as just pasting your artwork. So remember these two things context and depth and use that when you're doing client work, when you're doing your portfolio, don't ever just paste JPEGs or screenshots in your website. I hope you found this helpful. I'm excited to help you become better designers. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.